The population has been urged not to compare and contrast the vaccines which are used to put down the COVID-19 pandemic. This call has been made by Professor Walter Jawoko during the cross-border CAF organized by Mesha Science. This CAF brought together media practitioners across Africa, academicians, professors and other category of people. It was focusing on discussing the efficacy of vaccines. According to Professor Walter, this call is backed up by the time at which vaccines were tested, the persons who were involved, among others, as he explains more. In the time the vaccines were being tested, we have already seen there have been a lot of mutations, so there have been new variants that have been created. So there are some vaccines were tested when there are no variants at all. Uh, there are some vaccines that have been tested when only the alpha and the beta variants were there. There are some vaccines that were tested when the delta, the gamma, were there. So you can't really compare vaccines on a head-to-head -head basis. It makes it very challenging. But some people have attempted to do that. So there are also some vaccines that were tested in uh, amongst people who are HIV positive. Uh, the others were tested where there was no HIV positivity. So you really can't compare. But some people have attempted to compare. And one of these... He also shared some research which have been done by Shapiro, Dean and Longin. And according to them, Moderna is in the lead. Compare that to see the efficacy of the vaccines. And so this is an illustration. It's not a perfect illustration. And when you use this illustration, you find that Moderna is the one that has done very, very well in terms of uh, protection, uh, 95%. Uh, in terms of... And here we're talking about symptom, symptomatic... Uh, protection. So when a vaccine protects people from getting an infection that will present with symptoms, and that is the only place where there is a variation. But in terms of protecting people from getting severe disease, hospitalization, ICU admission, and death, they're the same. But in terms of pe protecting people from getting symptoms, Moderna is first, then Pfizer, then the Novavax, AstraZeneca follow, then the Sinovac, and the ones that is not done very well is the sign of it. Professor Jawoko also urged the population to not depend on their natural immune system, but to go for vaccination since that natural immunity can't be guaranteed to take up the COVID-19 pandemic. It has been shown that it doesn't last for long. The vaccine immunity, uh, immunity generated from vaccine lasts longer uh, than what you get from natural infection. What we know now is that being infected and you recover naturally, uh, when you get a vaccine, the vaccine actually gives you a much higher protection. It boosts the natural immunity that you had gotten from natural infection. And so in some places now that, that and those studies are going on, they realize that you might only require a single shot for a two shot vaccine uh, compared to people who have not uh, been uh, uh, vaccinated. So that is one thing that we now know for sure. In the same line, he shared how the countries have performed in regards to vaccination. The country that is doing best is the United Arab Emirates, where 98% of the population have received at least one dose. But the people who are fully vaccinated is about 87% in the United Arab uh, Emirates. If you look at the next performing would be Singapore and then Seychelles, and then look at where the rest of us are. Like in Kenya, for example, only 6.9% of the population has been uh, vaccinated, partially, at least one dose, and only about 3% of the population is fully vaccinated. And if you go to a country like Tanzania, only 1.4% of the population is fully vaccinated with less than 1% having received partial vaccination. So ladies and gentlemen, we are doing very poorly as a continent. What about this vaccine efficacy? According to Waldometer, 252,946,415 other the cases registered, but 228,792,025 have recovered, whereas 5,099,663 are the deaths in COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, uh, Chigongo, Channel 44 Prime News.